Nicola Sturgeon's latest desperate attempt to force independence in Scotland has been viciously torn apart, after she branded legislation from the UK government detailing trade arrangements after the Brexit transition period as a full frontal assault on devolution. Nicola Sturgeon launched a scathing attack against proposals in the Internal Market Bill, warning ministers in Wales were also concerned about its stealing powers from the devolved governments. Downing Street has insisted the bill would provide additional powers for the devolved governments in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack also argued jobs north of the border would be under serious risk without the legislation. The UK government has stated when the Brexit transition period between the UK and EU ends on December 31, powers will be returned from Brussels to the administrations in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. But a raging Ms Sturgeon tweeted, the internal market bill that the UK government will publish today is a full frontal assault on devolution. And to the usual, but the SNP would say that voices, read the Welsh government view below, rightly referring to the bill, stealing powers from the devolved goats. At forthcoming at Scott Parle elections, at the SNP will make case for independence. And more and more this is not about independence v the status quo of devolution. It's about independence as the only way to protect the Scottish Parliament from being undermined and its powers eroded. And added to all of the above, this is a bill that, by the government's own admission, breaks international law. This UK Gov is the most reckless, and to make it worse, incompetently so, and unprincipled in my lifetime. Scotland can do better and we will have that choice. But this latest plan from Ms Sturgeon was brutally destroyed by several critics on Twitter as she continues her plan for a second independence referendum in Scotland. One person wrote, whatever issues now, independence would be a disaster for Scotland, wreck the UK, economically disastrous but you just want your moment of glory as a PM and power in your racist hatred of the English, held since young. Devolution never enough ever. Wake up Scots. Another person tweeted, it's your own fault. As devolved powers you should have worked with the Westminster government. But Nicola you have been downright rude and worked against them on everything. We also don't trust you.